you guys welcome to my channel my name is charlie and in today's video i'm going to be doing a pregnancy q a um just because i kind of haven't really kept up with my each trimester on youtube so i just figured just to add them all together and just do a big q a A couple days ago I actually asked you on Instagram if you have any questions for me about my pregnancy so I wrote those down and to be completely honest I've actually filmed this video already but I didn't really like the lighting I just I don't know I just felt like let's just redo the video and I actually just got a new ring light and it's a big ring light so hopefully my lighting and everything on my videos is going to be getting a lot better so yeah let's just jump right into it Okay, so I wrote them down on my um, computer, so I'm gonna be answering them from here. If I do, we'll keep looking down, it's literally just because I have my computer in front of me. So first question. So the question is, were you nauseous in your first trimester? So I was really nauseous in my first trimester. I didn't throw up, I only threw up like two or three, maybe four times in my first trimester. And then it's just kind of, if I don't eat, then I'll throw up. So I am grateful with that, just cause I know a lot of women um, do experience morning sickness and morning nausea. And morning sickness, I will say, is not just in the morning. It's literally all day. And I find that since I am my third trimester, um, I've experienced morning sickness even now. So like the first trimester, I felt really nauseous. And like the third trimester, I feel really nauseous. One time at work that I felt so nauseous, like so sick. And it was just honestly so bad. Um, my co my Two of my coworkers at the time were pregnant with me, so one had her baby this past March and then another had her baby literally a couple weeks ago. So three of us pregnant there together and I was like, guys, like, what do I do? I feel so nauseous, everything. Like, I literally feel like I'm hungover. That's literally what it feels like. And she's like, girl, you just have to throw it up and get over it. And I was like, what? Like, what? So yeah, that's exactly what I did. I literally forced myself to throw up in the bathroom. Cute, right? But all right, so next pregnancy question is, did you have any food cravings? And I didn't really crave any Pacific food, but I will say that I craved different stuff all the time. And I did crave food. Like if I wanted like a pineapple, I needed a pineapple. Um, but I mainly crave fruits and water. And then in the beginning, I will say I did crave salty foods and tacos, which is so random, but yeah, that's what I needed. And all right, so the third question is, so when did you feel the baby move? And I felt my baby move at 16 weeks, um, but it literally just felt like a butterfly in my stomach, like very little and very just kind of like, I was like, is that the baby moving? Like, cause obviously it's the first time that I'm having a baby. So I was just like, is he moving? Like what? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so 16 weeks is when I felt him move first, but I always felt like I could move, feel him move in my stomach before 16 weeks, but at 16 weeks I started feeling him and then at like 20, 22, 23, and then definitely 24, 25 weeks is when he started moving and like I could feel him and my boyfriend could feel him. My boyfriend could feel him more at like 25, 28 and definitely 30 so yeah so you will feel him a lot sooner than your boyfriend or your significant other will feel him just because he's in your stomach and then sometimes like if they put the hand on you're like oh he's moving feel it but like they can't really feel it so um, so the next question is do you still work out during your pregnancy and yes i do still work out during my pregnancy long story short in the beginning i worked out a lot and i did workout classes i really wanted to do a prenatal workout class i didn't get around to it just because of the covid stuff and that'll put that put a damper on my pregnancy workouts or whatever but since quarantine i've definitely gained um i wouldn't say a lot of weight but for me it's a lot of weight and i've tried to go on walks every morning i try to do what i can um but like i said i'm getting further along in my pregnancy so it's a little bit harder to work out i did get a pregnancy birthing bowl which is like a workout base basically like a workout bowl it's a stability bowl so after my walks in the morning I will find a quiet spot to work out in and that just kind of helps relieve my mind just because working out in the house is cool and all but it's just I enjoy getting ready and then leaving the house to go work out I don't know just something that I enjoy doing working out in the house is cool and everything but 
the house is more of like a relaxing place for me to like wind down after the day and not um get up or work out so yeah but I will say I do have some pregnancy workouts posted on my Instagram that I will leave a link or a little picture right here so you can um, go check those out. I did a lower body workout and I plan to do an upper body workout. Just because pregnancy workouts compared to working out normal is totally different. You have to be careful and cautious of your belly, one. And then two, you can't really do any abs like at all. And then you also have to kind of like dumb down your workout. So and the next question is what's the hardest thing about your pregnancy? or what's been the hardest thing about your pregnancy. And honestly, for me, it's definitely been my body changing. And that's just because I've worked so hard to get my body to where I want it to be. So for me to see it change and I have no control over it, even though of course I can work out, of course I can do everything I can, but I really don't have control over my body changing. And that's honestly been the hardest thing. But at the end of the day, and as farther along in your pregnancy as you get, you kind of just get an understanding like you have a baby in your belly, like you're growing a baby. It's not just, you're not, your body's not changing for no reason. You know what I mean? So for me, that's definitely helped my pregnancy journey is just to understand that like, it's my baby in here and he's gonna be here soon. And it's just, he's such a blessing. So, so yeah, adjusting to your body has been my hardest thing. All right, so next question is, when did you find out you were pregnant and did I miss my cycle? So yes, I did miss my cycle. I found out during Thanksgiving, um, my boyfriend and I were actually in Boston with his family, so that was super special. But we didn't tell anyone that um, I was pregnant during that time. We just kind of enjoyed the moment with our family and it was really nice to spend it with them knowing that I was like actually a part of the family. Even though obviously I was, I felt like I was part of the family before having a baby. But now that I actually have a baby with the man I love and his family, like obviously is their support, I feel a lot closer to him and his family, so. All right, so the next question I got was, did you experience the pregnancy glow and is it a myth? Um, personally, I'm having a boy, so I don't know if that's different from having a girl and having a boy. I know they say that if you're having a girl, the girls steal your beauty or whatever that means. But I will say the pregnancy girl is real. Um, I posted in my last YouTube video about my acne, just a little clip of it. And if you could see, like, it was really bad. Like, if you want, I can insert it right here, how bad my acne was. But if you can tell, I have no texture on my face. I have just literally no acne, so I'm blessed in that way. So the next question I got was, when is your baby due? And my baby is due August 2nd. He was originally due August 6th. Um, and August 6th is at my dad's birthday, so I think that's super special. And actually August 2nd, I want to say, is my boyfriend's mom's dad's birthday. I'm almost positive. That's what she said, but either one, it's okay. He's a little Leo, so I am just super excited and happy that he is a Leo, just because I personally love Leos. Me and my dad get along really well. So the next question I got was, do you plan on breastfeeding? And of course, I definitely plan on breastfeeding. I've done a lot of research on breastfeeding, on how to really keep your milk supply, how to store it, how to like maintain it, how to breastfeed, so like how latching and everything. So I definitely plan on breastfeeding. I know they say it's every journey is different, just like pregnancy, every journey in pregnancy is different. I'm excited, but I'm nervous because they said it hurts, like the nipple thing, nipple cream. And then another question I got was, do you know of any good book for expecting mothers and the only book i personally haven't bought nor purchased any book but the only book that um i was recommended by some of my friends that have babies is what to expect when you're expecting um i'll leave like a little picture of that book right over here for you guys just so you can see what it is and i'll also leave it in the comments down below if you are interested in buying a book but like I said, I haven't read that book, so I can't really vouch if it's a really good book. But if you do want to purchase a book, that is um, one I would recommend. So you can definitely check that one out. So the next question is, do you know the gender of your baby? And yes, I do. Um, I am having a baby boy and I am so happy. Like I literally cried when I found out. I've literally been wanting a boy ever since I was a little girl. I can't wait to experience that bond with my son. And it's just... 
I can't believe I'm having a boy. Like literally when that balloon pop, I was so excited. Like, and I will say, if you're debating on having um, a gender reveal or whatever, definitely, 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 definitely have a gender reveal party. I was so on the fence about doing it. I just didn't know if it was a good idea. I just really wanted to know the gender of my baby that day. My friends convinced me. My boyfriend was like, you know what? Let's just have it like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna have everyone included. I want everyone to be a part of this experience. And I was like, you know what? You're right. Like, it's okay. I can wait two days. We literally plan our gender reveal party in less than two days. It was such a success. Everyone, lo like I love the vibe. It was just, it was the best experience and the best thing I feel like we did. I don't know if you can see my little baby boy right here. It's my, it's my fur baby. But, um, but yeah, definitely do a gender reveal party if you um, are thinking about doing one and record it. Like definitely record you popping the balloon, you guys excited. So I'll insert a couple pictures of me and my boyfriend right here. I just can't even explain the feeling of that balloon popping and it being not only what you wanted, but knowing the gender of what is in your belly. That is just the best feeling in the world. So I hope you guys like this video. Definitely give me a thumbs up just because I want to see if you guys like more of these videos. If you guys like more pregnancy videos or more fitness videos, health videos, even makeup videos. Because right before I did my makeup, I took like a before and then I took an after. <laughs> so I am a makeup artist. So I like to do more simple looks. I used to love playing with color and stuff like that. I was a cheerleader elementary school, middle school, and high school, and also college, I actually cheer at Towson. I'm definitely experienced with makeup. My job is a makeup artist. I'm like a beauty expert, if you wanna call us. But yeah, let me know what kind of videos you wanna see on my channel, and I will definitely keep those coming for you guys. I really enjoy filming and sitting down. This is my bump, everyone. Oh, and yes, that, <laughs> that is my birthing bowl. So that right there is my birthing ball. I actually just got in the mail like a day after I posted my pregnancy must-haves. I mentioned the birthing ball in my pregnancy must-haves just because I thought I was gonna be getting it and using it and loving it, but it didn't come in until like a day or two after. So I included it, but I was like, it's not really a must-have because I, I haven't even gotten it. But I will say it is fun to bounce on. It helps support my back, like it helps it really helps my back, but I wouldn't say it's a must have. You don't really need it. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. It's kind of big and bulky. I just wish the gyms were open, honestly, so I could just use it there and then just have more space in my house. But yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Definitely give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Just let me know what kind of videos you would like to see. Um, I definitely wanna be posting more videos for you guys. I have a newborn on the way. I also just got this necklace. It has a little J on it just because we know the name of my baby and also my boyfriend's name is the J, so I thought that was super cute. They both have J names, but they're not the same name. <laughs> We're not doing that. 